sound. I guess you're going. You're going. That's us. You're going. Easy going. Easy going. Give it up for Lewis Cato on the Late Show Man, everybody, right there. Come on. Uh, coming up in just a few minutes, my friends, we got uh, the one, the only, a woman I admire greatly, Christian Amanpour, will be out wow. here in just one moment yeah. to talk about, you know, the world. He's got a specialty, it's the world. Yep. And then, uh, out here to celebrate NCIS's 1,000th episode, Mr. Wilmer Valderrama will be joining us right over there. 1,000. 1,000, wow. <laughs> I want to thank Tony Hawk for appearing in tonight's cold open. You can catch him at Tony Hawk's Vert Alert on June 14th and 15th at the University of Utah. I'll be there, he said. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> I might be. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Folks, I spend most of my time right over there, converting the day's most high-performance carbon fiber news into a topical body with an NMI control cockpit, integrated yacht windows, and discrete temperature zones to build for you the spectacular Marquee Mobile Element Palazzo Superior mobile home that is my monologue. But sometimes, folks, after a bender of purple drank, I drop a dime on the underground Serbian hogfight mafia who chased me into a swamp where I curl up inside a tractor tire and a nettle patch and pull the door of an abandoned porta potty over me to cower inside the snitches bramble shack of news that is my segment. It's like a topical ointment for the soul. This is, people know, they know. Meanwhile, the founder of Whack-A-Mole is selling their equestrian estate, and do not worry, the horses are included. <laughs> the property is 211 acres and is listed for $5.9 million, or 10 trillion tickets. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> In celebrity alcohol news, supermodel Cindy Crawford, who's married to Casamigos co-founder Randy Gerber, is launching her own brand called Casamigas. It's a catchy name. Good luck with that, Cindy. Far less clunky than my female-focused beverage, Stephen Colbert's Estrogen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Strong enough for a man, but women can have problems, too. <laughs> Meanwhile, a Florida woman found a nearly eight-foot alligator inside her home. And of course, this is Florida, so she said, Helen, there you are. Come on, wheel's about to start. <laughs> Meanwhile, in case you've been living under a rock, there was an eclipse on Monday. On the plus side, if you were under that rock, you still might have your eyesight because <laughs> Google documented a spike in why do my eyes hurt or eyes hurt related searches as the solar eclipse ended. In a totally unrelated story, people who bought certain Eclipse glasses from Amazon may have received an email saying the glasses are, in fact, not safe to view the Eclipse in. But they add the glasses are effective if you're at a 3D movie and don't want to see it. <laughs> Meanwhile, an environmental group released a report on items they found on beach cleanups on the Jersey Shore, which included some odd things like fake eyelashes, fishnet stockings, a jock strap, and a pregnancy test. If you're taking a pregnancy test on a New Jersey beach, it gets better. <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. Oh, and good news, they found your eyelashes and your fishnets. <laughs> Meanwhile, Great news for anyone who likes driving but loves peanuts because Planters is looking to hire drivers to cruise in its nutmobile. <laughs> to which perverts everywhere said, oh, but when I ask if you want to ride my nutmobile, I'm a creep. <laughs> he seems wow. nice. Wow. He seems nice. nice. Applicants will be expected to escort Mr. Peanut across the country. Now, wait a second. So, Mr. Peanut rides around in a giant peanut. That seems wrong. Gather round, children, and see the anthropomorphic nut, pantsless and be monocled, forced to travel the land in an auto made from the bones of his own nut folk. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Meanwhile, in airplane news, there was drama on a recent Air New Zealand flight to Australia when a passenger was fined for urinating in a cup. <laughs> Evidently, there was a bit of a delay in deplaning when one of the passengers heard the unmistakable sound of someone urinating in a cup. Really? Unmistakable? <laughs> to whom? Who has that much experience hearing that sound? All right, gentlemen, play that recording back. That's a 62-year-old man with an enlarged prostate taking a whiz in a, a paper cup. I know, because my life is a horror. I wake up on the beach, take a pregnancy test, and it's back in the nutmobile. We'll be right back with Christiane Amanpour.